everybody, I'm Pia from Stitches and Scraps. Today I'm going to show you how to make this Happy Sun Magnet. Lion Brand was nice enough to give me the DIY yarn for all of the magnets in this crochet along. For this design, I'll be using yellow, orange, and just a tiny bit of black. The black is just for the facial embroidery, so if you want, you can substitute black embroidery thread instead of the yarn. You'll also need a hot glue gun and some glue. I'm using this Zyron mini hot glue gun that Zyron sent me to review. And finally, you'll need a magnet small enough to fit inside your sun. This one is a one inch diameter, which is about the biggest you'll want to use for this project. You do want to make sure it's relatively thin so that it doesn't add a lot of bulk. Let's start with the back. Chain two or make a magic loop. Work six single crochet into the second chain from your hook or into your magic loop. Join this round with a slip stitch. And if you made a magic loop, go ahead and pull on your tail to tighten it. For round two, we're going to increase in every stitch. So chain one, and then we're going to work two single crochet into each of these stitches, but not in exactly the same spot. So the first single crochet is going to go into the back loop only. And then the second cro single crochet in the same stitch is going to go in both the front and the back loops, just like a normal stitch would. And in that way, the Stitches are both in the same stitch, but in a slightly different spot. So the hole doesn't get opened up as wide and it's a little bit more invisible. Let's do that in each of the stitches around. So back loop only, and then both loops. Back loop only, and then both loops. And we started with six stitches. So after this round, we will end up with 12. Both loops back loop only, and both loops. And then this right here, that's our slip stitch join from the last round. So now, so we ignore that one, don't work into it. Now we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch of this round, and that is round two. Let's move on to round three. We're going to chain one again, and now we're going to alternate between increase, regular stitch, increase, regular stitch. So the first stitch is an increase. Go ahead and work a single crochet in the back loop only, and then a single crochet in both loops. Then the next one's a regular single crochet, so just make that one single crochet. Increase, and single crochet. Now this will add another six stitches, bringing us up to a total of 18. Now join with a slip stitch to finish the round, and then we can go ahead and cut our yellow and fasten off. Now is a good point to stop and check our gauge. It should be about one and three quarter inches across the middle. And we're right about on track. Grab your orange and let's make some rays. Now this is the right side of the work, okay? But this is the back piece. So this side of the work, we want it to be on the back of the magnet. When we turn this over, this is where our magnet's gonna go, and then the front is gonna get put on top of this, so this will be the front of the magnet. So we're going to work our rays on this side, on the wrong side of the back piece. So we were here, we're gonna flip this over, and we're going to join this yarn anywhere we want. I'm gonna go ahead and join it right here, right before the slip stitch. It's actually the first stitch of the round. So go ahead and pull up a loop, of the orange yarn in whatever stitch you chose. Now chain five, okay? And here I'm gonna work in the back bumps only because it gives me a prettier finish on the edge. It's not absolutely mandatory, but it is. Um, it does look better if you do. So I have five chains. I'm going to slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. Then I'm going to single crochet in the next chain half double in the next chain, and double in the last chain. And that gives us a nice triangle. Then I'm going to skip a stitch. Now be careful, and this is why I did this here. This is the slip stitch that you made, right? The slip stitch doesn't count. Make sure that tail's on the inside, but don't count that little slip stitch. This is the next stitch. This is the one you're skipping. And then you're going to slip stitch into the following stitch. 
So I did my ray, I skipped one stitch, and then I slip stitched into the next stitch. Okay, let's make another ray. Chain five. Working in the back bumps, slip stitch in the second chain from the hook, then single crochet, then a half double crochet, and then a double crochet. And then we're going to skip a stitch and slip stitch in the next stitch. We're going to keep doing this all the way around. Each of these rays uses up two stitches on our center circle, which means since we had 18, we're going to end up with nine rays. Okay, I have nine rays finished. I'm just going to slip stitch now. I skipped this one. So that brings me back to the first one that we started in, and I'm going to slip stitch in that one. And there's your nine rays. Now you can go ahead and fasten this off, but leave enough of a tail to sew the top on. I would say probably 18 inches or so is more than you need. Um, and then we'll weave in all the ends and then come back and put the magnet on top. I've woven in the ends on the wrong side of the back circle. Notice that the rays are facing forward because I worked those on the wrong side. But when you look at the stitches of the circle, this was the right side and this was the wrong side. So I've woven in everything except this end that I'm going to use for sewing later. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue on the magnet. My glue gun is hot, so I just put a little bit of glue onto the magnet itself. Be careful not to burn your fingers, just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and press that down into the center and let it set up. Okay, it just takes a couple of seconds and my magnet is attached. Now we can set this aside and work on the front. The first three rows of the front are exactly the same as the back, except that we don't fasten off at the end because we're going to continue with yellow. So I've done exactly the same first three rows. I've got 18 stitches and if you want to see how this was worked, rewind back to the beginning of the video and you'll see how I did these three rows or these three rounds on the back. So let's move on to round four. We're not going to start with a chain. We're going to start with a single crochet. So just insert your hook in the first stitch and go ahead and do a single crochet. All right, now chain one and slip stitch in the same stitch. And we're going to do this in every stitch all the way around. Okay, so single crochet, chain one, slip stitch. Again, a little slower, single crochet, chain one, slip stitch in every stitch all the way around. When you get all the way around, there's no need to join or anything. Just go ahead and fasten off your yarn. Now we'll weave in the ends and then come back and do the face. I've woven in the ends and I've secured a piece of black yarn, probably about 18 inches, which is longer than I need, um, by weaving that in in the back as well. Now I'm going to place the center of my mouth here and I want to go two stitches, two little holes in each direction. So the edge of my mouth is going to be here and I'm going to use a back stitch. So that means I'm going to start in the second stitch. So I'm going to start here. Okay, come up through here and down through this one. Then I'm going to come up in the next one and go back a stitch. That's why it's called back stitch. Okay, keep going around like that. And there we have the two stitches on each side and I have my happy little mouth. Now let's do some eyes. Here's the center of my face. So I'm gonna place the first eye right about here. And I'm just gonna make a quick French knot so wrap the yarn around your needle three times and then, oops, don't let it unwrap. Wrap it around three times and then go back down really close to where you came out of. So I'm going to go right maybe there. It shouldn't be exactly the same spot, but it should be really close. Notice I'm holding the yarn until I pull everything through so that it can't shift on me. And there is my little eye. 
Okay, now we go to the other side. Again, here's my center, here's my mouth. I accidentally tightened my mouth too much. There we go. Okay, and I do my other eye right here. All right, again, wrap the tip three times. Go down really close to where you came up and hold it steady while you pull it through. And there is my second eye. And there we have the finished face. Now I'm going to weave in this end real quick and then we can join the front and the back. Now it's time to sew the back and the front together. So I put them together so the magnet is in the center and the face is up on top, right? It doesn't matter rotationally how you put this, it will line up just fine any way you go. So just stick it on top and I've put the tail from the back onto my um, needle. Now I'm going to backstitch around just underneath round four. So this was round four, that, that um, curly cue kind of round that we did. I'm gonna go just underneath it into these holes here. Do you see those holes at the bottom of those stitches? And I'm gonna try to line that up roughly with the end of the yellow here. Okay, so I've already got this attached. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in through one of those stitches. All right, now we're back stitching. So I'm gonna go back a stitch here. Okay, try and get it to come out the yellow right there. And then I go forward two stitches. So I went back one, I go forward two. So I'm gonna come in through the yellow and come up in this stitch ahead of where I was, right? And back down this way. Now, once you have it secured after a few stitches, you don't need to keep checking the back because it should be pretty well centered. But just for the first few stitches, make sure that you're getting under that yellow bit right there and up two stitches ahead oh, right there. Okay. See, now I think I'm pretty well centered, so I don't have to look anymore. I just go up, ahead, and then back one. Up two, and then back one. And you don't need to pull super, super tight. You want these stitches to show. Um, it's part of the decoration, so make them nice and even, but not super tight. And then the last stitch, you can see I'm coming up right at the end of that stitch and then back down there, fill the gap, and we've gone all the way around. Now we can weave in this tail in the back. And if you really wanna make it look neat, you can do kind of a whip stitch around the whole edge to catch all of these little stitches if you really wanted to, but nobody's gonna look at the back. Okay, that's neatened that up a little bit. Now I am going to weave in the tail. Fluff out your rays, curl up your front, and your sunshine is done. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends, or leave me a comment. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more great videos. Thanks for watching.